To write the name for COCO3, we first need to recognize that CO, this is cobalt, it's a transition metal. And then the CO3 here, this is a polyatomic ion. So we'll first name the metal as it appears on the periodic table. CO, that's cobalt. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's that CO3 here, this group of nonmetals. So you either memorize that CO3, that's the carbonate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So far, we have cobalt carbonate, but cobalt is a transition metal. So we need to write the charge for cobalt right here in the name. We know if you memorized it or looked it up, the whole carbonate ion is two minus. That means the cobalt here, it has to be two plus for the charge to balance out to zero, give us a net charge of zero. So we're gonna write Roman numeral two in parentheses between the names and the name for COC3 is cobalt 2 carbonate. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you know that the cobalt is going to be 2 plus because of the Roman numeral. And then you've memorized the carbonate ion is 2 minus, so you only need the cobalt with one carbonate ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.